wow, spectacular and breathtaking view. You wouldn't be able to guess where we are today, no other than the Paradise Island, Phuket, Thailand. Today we have a very special guest we're going to be interviewing, who is also the owner of this amazing luxury villa here in Phuket, and we're going to find out a little bit more about him. I'm your host today, Sumi Suryan, Business Development Director from Delivering Asia Communications and C9 Hotel Works. Follow me. Good morning, Bill. So today we have Bill Heineke, founder and CEO of Minor International and that includes Minor Hotels, Minor, Minor Food Group, as well as Minor Lifestyle. Welcome, Bill. Thank you, nice to be here. How are you today, Bill? Very well, thank you. We're in your luxury ultimate villa here in Phuket, mm. your second home. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little bit about how did you make Phuket your second home? Because you, you frequent Phuket quite a bit now, especially during the pandemic. I believe that it's a nice escapade from city living and uh, all your travels in the past. So, Absolutely. yeah, do enlighten us about um, your lifestyle here. Yeah. You know, I, I've known Phuket since back in the uh, uh, early 60s when I first came to Phuket. And in those days, there was no Saracen Bridge. You had to come by, uh, by ferry across the, there was a barge that brought the cars across oh. the, uh, the inlet there. And, uh, and then we built our first hotel here, which was the JW Marriott back in, uh, uh, late uh, 99. And, wow, that's uh, the one in Mai Kao. In Mai Kao. And then from that point on, we just kept growing in uh, in, in Phuket and in Khao Lak. And so... What's uh, the second hotel after the Jade second hotel was the Anantara Mai Kao. Oh, right. So, uh, so that explains the location as well, being right. close to the bridge. Close to the bridge and close to the airport. And, uh, and then this one came along uh, in uh, sort of 2012 or 15. And when we had a chance to buy uh, this particular hotel and, and the land behind it, it gave us an opportunity to build a house. And I've been looking for a house location for many years. So this was the perfect site. And uh, having a hotel to look after the houses, because I built not only mine, but a few others. It's really amazing. I mean, we just did a, a quick tour uh, to, uh, around the house. and. Uh, I think we're, we're not even like scratching the surface <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's mind blowing and it, mm. it's, it's huge. So, um, and the design, I mean, it's all in the details. Mm. Will you tell us a little bit about the design, the architecture, the interior, um, how, how, what, what inspired um, mm. you for the uh, concept? Well, I think, you know, I've, I've built many houses in uh, Thailand, uh, starting with uh, my own house in Bangkok and then we have a a second home in uh, Hui Hin and then one in Chiang Mai, Samui, and uh, even in uh, the St. Regis in Bangkok. Uh, but this was really uh, the one that I wanted the most. And so I was able to take all the experiences of living everywhere else in Thailand that I've lived over the years, the last 55 years, and, uh, and create this one. And this is really where I enjoy being the most. So why is Phuket so special? I guess Phuket's special because of uh, all the activities that one can do. and. Uh, it's a it's a very uh, sophisticated beach resort. You know, Samui is also very nice, but it's quite small. Uh, the international uh, airport and travel that uh, allows people to come in from all over the world. So we have direct flights. That makes a big difference. This is a great place to meet people, uh, a great place to socialize. You know, there's great eating. The boating is fantastic. You know, we're within 15 minutes of the airport. So it brings together all the things I want, whether I come for a one day trip or I come for a two week trip. You know, this is my second time in the sandbox. And, uh, I've spent more time since COVID in Phuket than I've spent in the previous 40 years. Yeah, Phuket is, is very special. Um, I've always wondered as well, and I read a little bit as well. So the name behind Minor, and that intrigues me. Well, I guess, uh, you know, I started this uh, uh, company when I was uh, still in high school. I was 17 at the time, which technically makes me a minor. Uh, so. Uh, uh, had I been over 18, probably I would have called it something more ambitious like major. But <laughs> having been uh, still going to school and being young, I uh, decided that minor was the more appropriate uh, understatement uh, for this uh, very humble company that we started with 
twelve hundred dollars on a couple of employees. Wow! What was the burning desire back then? The burning at the desire. Age of Seventeen. The burning desire was to stay in Thailand. I was very lucky that very early in life I decided this is where I wanted to be, and uh, I wasn't tempted to go off for university. Uh, I was uh, tempted to start my own company and have an excuse to stay here for the rest of my life, and mm. that's what I've done. And there's a will, there's definitely mm. a way. Mm. Amazing story. Um, you mentioned about yachts, so I'm, uh, so I'm sure in a place, a paradise like mm. this, I would like to know, like, what kind of toys do you have besides yachts? Mm -hmm. I've heard a few things as well. Would you yes, be able I, to share a few? Sure. I we have a uh, a yacht here that's called Major Affair. Right. And, Love uh, the name. Uh, you know, it sort of complements Minor Affair, which lives in Samui, and Mini Affair, which lives off in the Maldives. So uh, uh, that certainly is every chance that I get, I like to get on the boat and go somewhere. Uh, we've got some of the most incredible diving and, and boating areas and, uh, in the national parks here, in the Similins, in uh, Surin Island, and uh, Koh Lip Bay. So, you know, really there's, uh, there's a tremendous draw to get out of the house, onto the boat, and, uh, and that's where I, I do spend a lot of time. Wow, w would this be, so the minor lifestyle then? <laughs> uh, yes, I, I guess uh, we're sort of an overnight success that only took, you know, 54 years or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I look forward to the invitation when you get macro next time. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay, one final question. Um, I'd like to know, and I'm sure a lot of our um, audience would like to find out as well, what's a day uh, in the life of uh, Bill Heineke? Well, right like? now it's, uh, it's pretty busy because we have a lot of projects going on. We're building uh, another uh, 15 houses next door to this project, which is uh, connected uh, to a joint venture with Kojima, our Japanese partners. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they're nearly all sold out, as is uh, this unit. Uh, and uh, we're also building a hotel, which used to be the Anantara in Kaolak before the tsunami. And that was destroyed during the tsunami. And uh, I could never bring myself to, uh, to rebuild it. So uh, uh, just uh, having spent so much time during COVID, we decided to relaunch uh, Kaolak. And that will open at the end of this year as an Avani, about 350 rooms. So it'll be a big hotel. and. Uh, we're looking forward to that. So we're building a new beach house on the beach, uh, which will uh, house a, a pool bar, a beach bar, a, a rooftop, and, uh, and also Zuma every, every uh, winter season. So, uh, so we've got lots of things happening right, right here in, uh, in Phuket, and that gives me a good excuse to be here more often than not. And that's just Phuket, so I can't imagine other destinations and what you're working on. Well, one of the ben benefits of COVID has been that I've been pretty much confined to uh, Thailand for the last uh, 15 months, but uh, but travel has intensified. And as I said, this is my uh, second sandbox and I expect my third at the end of this month. We well, wish you all the best, Bill. Uh, thank and, you. Uh, thank you again for taking the time to meet with us today. And I know you're very busy, so yeah. thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Saudi Cup. Saudi Cup. Thank you for watching our interview with Bill Heineke, CEO and founder of Minor International. This brings us to the end of our Thai road trip series an event brought to you by C9 Hotel Works and Delivering Asia Communications. I'm your host, Sumi Surian. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Till the next series, thank you for watching.